Hey guys, do you know that you can use song baseline as an exercise? When you use this exercise, it helps you master your fretboard very very well, okay? So in today's video, I'll be giving you this exercise so that anytime you come up with any song, you have already mastered your fretboard through this exercise and you'll be able to play without struggling, okay? I also do private class lessons. If you're interested, you see the link in the comment section below. Click on the link and it'll take you direct to my WhatsApp, okay? So guys, grab the bass and let's begin with the tutorial. So trust me guys, in this video you'll be learning a lot, when I mean a lot, you'll be learning a lot, not only the exercise, but growth and some techniques from this video, okay? So I want you to watch the video to the end so that after you watch the video, you'll be able to understand many things on your bass guitar, okay? So let's look at the step one, let me play the song and let's see how we can use that bass line as an exercise. What you do? So this is the exercise so as we move on i'll be giving you simple groove in this song you can use okay so remember that when you've done or when you have mastered this exercise try to do it to all the keys so it goes like this you have your one now you're going to your seven and six so you understand okay two you have your two here seven five three six so i was playing two seven five that is on your five triad so put that in mind then i played on three and six so dun, 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 dun. you can decide to use this shape or the, the normal one you understand okay so when you don't play now you'll be coming to your five, one, four. So this is what you would do. Seven, five, three, one. Seven, five, three, one, four. Okay, what you need to put in mind is your fingering. Don't misplace it. Take it simple. You understand, okay? So the first one, I use uh, the second shape to play the, the five, okay? Or you can use the third shape you understand okay so look at how i use my fingering on the second shape and the third shape the normal one okay then that is seven five three one four so now to your two three five one three two three five one three two dun, 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 dun. okay so when you master it as i said earlier do it to all the keys Next key. Next key. Next key. Okay, if I want to jump to the next key, I was using my second shape in the major scale. Okay, so. So even in case you want to use the third shape, when you're done playing, that will be a little bit confusing. So I'll advise you to use 
the second shape for now because the second shape will guide you on where you are to go next okay so if i start from here i'll just move here and just follow the pattern then i'll just move to the next you see but if you'll be using the third shape to confuse you yeah to confuse you so use the second shape i'll say this is just an, an warm-up exercise helps for, for fingering and also helps you to know your fretboard very well especially on your second shape okay because i was using some triads now to my six one four so you can even do it um four da, 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 da. so four six one four then three five one three two then you end dun, 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 dun. five six seven five one so now let's jump into the second one and see if we get this kind of song out there how can we play it what you do Okay, so let me teach you everything about this groove. So from your one to your seven, I did this cold fills. You understand? Five, two, one, seven. Five, two, one, seven. You understand? So now to my six. Da, 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 da. Two, three, five, one, six. Then one, five, one, four. So just take it slowly. Da. You understand then you can do it second time the second one i did something like this so it goes like this that is still on your five you understand so two three two then out to your six dun, 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 dun. instead of me playing one seven six now i am playing one three six you understand so you understand so one two three so here we're using this technique called the hammer on one two you hammer on your three so use this part into all of it six seven three six Four, five, one, four, two, three, five, six, two. Dun, 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 dun. Five, six, seven, five, one. Again, two, three, six, seven, three, six, four, five, one, four. Dun, two, three, five, six, two, five, one. Okay. And the third one, I did something using the chromatic on three notes. You understand? One. Just start from where you start from your two and end on your three. So you play three notes. So two, two sharp, three, six, seven flat, seven three six then 
that's your six five sharp your five then two one sharp and your one so and your four you understand two two sharp three five six two da, da, five five one you understand okay so just take time practice the first exercise get the concept of um the song that's the progression and learn this kind of groove and try using them in the same song and you can reuse this bass line out there okay i think this is what i have for you today i give you good luck in your lesson and i will see you in this same channel next week bye for now